Hey guys, it's admin from myrequestbase.com. Today I'll be showing you how to make a dev package which is compatible with Cydia in a Windows environment. Now as you can see, I've simply opened up the file viewer and all I'm going to do is create a new file which I would like to call my package. So I'm going to make a theme today. So I'm going to call it Amazing Theme. I'm going to go ahead and open that folder. Now I'm going to make two files. One will point to where I want it to install on my actual iPhone. So for themes, it will be library, new folder again, themes, and then I'm going to go ahead and create the actual theme folder which will install um, all my theme files. So that's amazing theme dot theme. So what will appear in Winterboard is amazing amazing theme. Uh, the dot theme is just the convention which Winterboard uses. Now in here I'm gonna put in all my images and all my data that goes ahead and creates a Winterboard theme. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail with that today. Um, but it is quite easy and there's plenty of resources on the internet. Now I'm going to make a new scenario. For instance, if I want to make uh, something to install into the application folders as well, I'd point something to applications and then I'd point it to myapp.app. That's a different scenario if you're, in if you're installing an app. Now I'm going to create a second folder and I'm going to call that Debian with all capital letters. Now in this folder I'll have one file which is very powerful. I'm going to go ahead and call that control with no extension. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and open that up using WordPad. WordPad configures this well because it is a standard text editor. I do not recommend using Notepad as it doesn't really um, format it correctly and it's hard to view. Now I'm going to go ahead and paste a pre-written script, a pre-written control file. You can go ahead and grab this pre-written control file from the wikis at myrepospace.com. There will be a link that's provided. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and explain every line step by step. Now the package line simply is a unique identification which Cydia will uh, connect to your package. So in this instance, com.myrepospace.package name will be this package ID. The name is the title of the package and that will appear when uh, you browse through Cydia. Version is version. Architecture will stay as iPhone OS ARM. Description is a short description that will go under the, the uh, title when you're browsing through Cydia. Homepage whatever you like, maintainer, your username on uh, myrebasebase.com preferably. The author will be um, your username with your, uh, your profile link. Section will be admin-myrebasebase.com or for, for someone else it would be username dash Um Now here, conflicts and depends. These are two very powerful um, lines. Conflicts basically will allow you to tell Cydia what doesn't go well with this package. So if Cydia picks up that you've got com.package I don't like installed, it will say, no, nah, can't install this package. Now, depends works on a completely different ground. If you do not have this package installed, com.package I don't need, it will not install at all. Um, or it will, if it can find that uh, this ID is on your repo list, it will actually automatically install that. So, for instance, I'm going to be installing a theme for this package, so I'll be needing Winterboard. And that's Winterboard's unique identification. Um, you'll go, if you need a, a, a different package, for instance, you'll need to know its ID number or ID. So that's that. 
Now make sure that there is a new line after you have done everything. If there's not a new line, you'll probably run into problems. We're going to go ahead and save this and then click yes. Okay. Now we're going to jump into WinSCP. WinSCP opens you up by default in the root partition, which is perfect. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and simply drag and drop my amazing theme folder, which I've created with all my information in it, um, into the root partition. Now simply I'm going to change the Debian file the folder to 775 and I'm going to go ahead and change the control to 775 also. Now I'm going to go ahead and press control T to open up the terminal and I'm going to input this command dpkg space dash b which stands for build um, and then I'm going to go ahead and type in the folder name of my f of my package and then I'm going to go ahead and click execute and there you'll have it it will return any errors or any warnings um, warnings will not stop the dead package from being created however errors will pop up and it'll tell you um, what your errors are and it's pretty robust because it pretty much pinpoints what's wrong with your package usually it's based on the control file so if you have any problems uh, make sure you post it up on the wikis or the upcoming forums now we're going to go ahead and click close and you'll see that there is a new deb file which has been created now we can drag and drop that onto our onto our desktop there you go you have fully created a compatible city working deb file and it's really